Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Script Note Show. I'm your host, Matt Tillman. Uh, Since the last episode where we talked about the yield curve inverting as it related to the stock market, I'm sure many of you have seen that there's been a lot of uh, different up and down days, so hopefully everyone's been hanging in there in terms of how that's been going. Uh, But for today's episode, I wanted to talk about that despite the economy kind of being up and down and quite volatile. Uh, according to Gas Buddy, one thing that you may be able to look forward to this fall is uh, lower gas prices. Um, according to Yahoo Finance, many U.S. states are on track to see gasoline prices fall below $2 a, a gallon later this year, according to the experts at Gas Buddy. Consumers, perhaps at 10,000 stations and maybe even more by Thanksgiving, should have access to sub $2 a gallon prices, mostly in the South, says Gas Buddy head of petroleum analysis, Patrick. Dahan. Dahan claims seasonality plays a big part in determining the price of gas as we head into the colder months. According to the U.S. Energy Information Association, gas prices tend to peak in the summer when people, of course, increasingly hit the road because of the warm weather. And then from 2000 to 2018, the average monthly price of regular gasoline was about 35 cents per gallon higher in August than it was in January. There's more price sensitivity in the summer when people have the means, the time off, the weather is good, whereas in the fall months, you don't see as much of that discretionary out-of-the-blue weekend travel. So, as a result, low gas prices may not spark a huge boom in demand this fall, DeHaan says. Motorists are very reactive to gas prices as he says, adding that with gas prices expected to fall, Americans are set to find a few extra dollars in their bank accounts. Dahan predicts certain driving destinations like amusement parks should do better while airlines won't get a huge break. As gas prices fade into autumn, that's good news for fast casual restaurants the, such as the Chipotle's and McDonald's of the world when motorists have a little more cash in their wallet, he says. Also, oil prices fell uh, this past Friday after Beijing announced retaliatory tariffs on U.S. crude. Speaking at the G7 summit over the weekend in Biarritz, France, so hopefully I pronounced that right, President Donald Trump claimed the Chinese are looking to strike a deal with the White House. I think they want to make a deal very badly. I think that was elevated last night. The vice chairman of China came out. He said he wants to see a deal made, Trump said. But despite the president's efforts to inject optimism into the minds of investors, DeHaan says consumer confidence is starting to hurt demand for gas. A lot of consumers out there that are filling their tank are still uncertain over this whole U.S.-China trade battle, and I think their barometer or the way they spend certainly tracks that issue. So come fall, we have some natural downside that we see. And even if there is some sort of broad trade deal with China, motorists in a dozen or perhaps even more states will get access to sub $2 a gallon prices, he says. So with that, that may be something to look forward to this fall. And if you haven't checked out the app Gas Buddy, I highly recommend it. It's a great way to keep an eye on different uh, prices of gas that might be nearest you, uh, uh, as well as keeping track of some of the uh, different prices at stations. So uh, you can program it to track as far as like the stations that are closest to you, or if you want to do the best of both worlds, the stations that are closest as well as the lowest gas prices. Um, It's a great way to uh, be able to check that out. But I also want to recommend one of their new features they came out with that I personally use. It's called Pay With Gas Buddy. Um, what you can do is it gives you a card that you can link your bank account to. And I believe it's pretty much every gas station at the moment, with the exception of Exxon Mobil, where you can save at least five cents a gallon every time you fill up. Um, and then what it'll do is after it processes the transaction, it'll uh, deduct that from your account. Um, and so I highly recommend checking it out. Yeah, it's only five cents, but you know every little bit can add up. And they do also have a paid uh, premium membership that you can use as well. Uh, I believe it gets you at least 20 cents a gallon off uh, per so many gallons a month. I want to say it's 40. So, you know, if you find yourself filling up at the tank quite a bit, um, it might be worth looking into. And they've also started um, kind of doing their own thing, similar to like an Ebates, where if you shop through a certain retailer, you can get even additional cents off um, for each fill up. And, and sometimes I believe if another like gas station also has their own rewards program, uh, I believe like say some marathons have a cents off program where you can 
can get five cents off a gallon. So if you add that in um, conjunction with the gas buddy discount, I uh, hi, uh, highly recommend, you know, it can save, definitely help you save some money at the tank um, as well as at your uh, bank account. So I'll uh, be sure to put the referral link in the show notes. Um, definitely check it out. Like I said, I use it all the time. Um, you know, it might not look like substantial savings, but, you know, can certainly be something that could help you out as well. So um, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope everyone's having a uh, great August so far. And as always, uh, thank you for listening to the show and continuing to support the show. And as always, if you have any questions on personal finance, or if you'd be interested in coming on the show at some point to uh, talk about your story or tips you might want to share, uh, definitely send a voice message through through the link in the show notes or email me at matt at script-notes.com. And uh, feel free to share the show. If you like what you've been hearing, uh, definitely please uh, leave us a review on the App Store through Apple Podcasts. Um, we're available on all uh, podcast platforms and uh, appreciate the continued support. Uh, have a great rest of your week and we'll talk to you again soon. See ya.